If you are happy to be here, can you shout a big hallelujah? Your life is about to have a shift. Tell somebody. You're not saying it well. Your, your life is about to have a shift. A multi-dimensional shift. So shall it be in Jesus' name. Without much ado, we need to get into the prayer session right away because we have but a limited time. Shall we be in the mode of prayers? Adonai, we worship you. We worship you, Son of God. Son of God, you are. You are so good. Oh, yes. Hello, be thy name. Your dominion is forever, is forevermore. Adonai, oh yes, we worship you, Son of God, Son of God, you are so good. You are so good, Almighty God. Oh, yeah. Hello be thy name. Your dominion is forevermore. You are the reason why we are living, Jehovah. I say you are the reason why we are living, Jehovah. Oh, yes, you are the reason why we are singing, Jehovah. Singing, Jehovah. Worship the Lord if you are sure. As Jehovah. Oh, you're singing Jehovah. Jehovah, you are. I need you to begin to bless the name of the Lord for yourself, for the Watchman Church, and for such a powerful program that has been packaged to transform, to inform to transform and to reform your life. Can you begin to worship the name of the Lord? This program has been packaged in order to inform, transform, reform, and turn your life around. Let's thank him for this great program. For the Giving praise because he is God. Giving praise because he is God. It is a good thing to give thanks unto the Lord. Let the people worship the Lord. Oh, that man will praise the Lord for his goodness and for his wonderful words to the children of men. To the children of men. He has broken the gate of bats and caught the bars of iron asunder. In Jesus' name we pray. In Jesus' name we pray. Once again, we are going to thank the Lord. Just briefly tell the Lord. Thank you for the watchman. Open your mouth and pray. Thank you for the watchman. Thank you for the watchman church. Thank you for all the young men and women. 
the princes and the princesses, the young adults of the watchman, the takeover generation. Let's give him praise. Let's give him praise. Let's worship the name of the Lord for such a time. For such a time in the history of the world, in the history of the watchman. Father, we give you praise. We adore you this morning. Thank you for the entire watchman. Thank you for every member of the watchman. Thank you for the young adults. Thank you for the pastors. Thank you for the members. Thank you for all categories of persons. Thank you for your faithfulness, for your mercies, your compassions that fail not. They are new every morning. New mercies we see every day. We bless your holy name. We give you praise for such a wonderful time. Thank you for what you are doing and what you are about to do. Glory be to your name. In the name of Jesus Christ. In Jesus' name we pray. This program has been packaged for information, transformation, reformation, and all round turnaround. You are going to tell the Lord, as I participate in these two days, may my life never remain the same. Somebody is not saying amen. amen. May every segment, every department of my life never remain the same. Can you begin to pray now? Every area of your life, physical, spiritual, academically, maritally, for those who are married, emotionally, psychologically, that there will be a shift generational shifts, multi-dimensional shifts, multifarious shifts, shifts in all areas. There will be a paradigm shift that will live your life better than it has been. That the program will make you a better version of yourself. A better version of yourself. You will not remain the same. You will take the center stage in the scheme of things that you will take over you will come up to the head region you will no longer remain at the position where you are born that God will use every means every section every segment of the program to transform your life and to make you a better version of yourself that your mindset we have a reset that your mindset we have a shift and then you will begin to live the way God wants you to live thank you Abba Father we give you praise we give you praise let there be a shift let there be transformation let there be renewal let there be reformation let there be rejuvenation let dreams be revived. Let visions be awakened. Let visions be given, be awakened. Let dreams, Lord, be given in the name of Jesus Christ. Over and over again, Lord, I give you my life. Over and over again, Lord, I give you my soul. Over and over again. And over and over again, I belong to you. If you know you sing your prayer fully and passionately. Oh, yes. Lord, I give you my soul. Over and over again. And over and over again, I belong to you. Oh, Lord. Lord, I give you my life. Lord, I give you my soul. Oh, yes. I belong to you. Over and over again. Lord, I give you my life. Sing 
looking meaningfully, passionately, prayerfully. It's a prayer you are making. You are telling God something. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Lord, I give you my life over and over again. Lord, I give you my soul. This program, I want to tell you, is multidimensional. It is addressing diverse areas of your life. Not just career, not just leadership, not just, uh, you know, in business and all of that. The spiritual element must not be missing. Hallelujah. Before we continue, the owner of the car, Toyota, Toyota Sienna, OKY918135, is to repark. OKY 918135. A Toyota Sienna car. Please go and repack. You are causing obstruction. Thank you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. This program is not just meant to address things that are transient, material things, or physical things, or earthly things, but the spiritual elements must not be missing. It's a time of reflection. It's a time of looking in words. It's a time of examining ourselves. Self-assessment, self-evaluation as to where you are in your relationship with God. Adam missed it. He was displaced from the position where he was by virtue of sin. And God saw it and asked him, Adam, where are thou? This morning, ask yourself, where am I? In my relationship with God, in holiness and righteousness, you may be making progress in other areas, in career, in business, in marriage, in whatever area. But I tell you, prosperity in other areas without spirituality is a calamity. So where are you? Jesus, when he was younger, or when he was young, they went to Jerusalem for an event with his parents. He was just 12. And after the whole event, his parents left, not knowing that he was not with them. And then when they got back, they started searching for him, started looking for him, and all of that. And then he was not found but the parents assumed that Jesus was with them but Jesus was missing that is the case of many people today where is Jesus in you are you still assuming that he is still there costly assumption whereas he is missing you may be progressing career wise business wise Emotionally, psychologically, but if Jesus thing, the whole thing will culminate into futility and calamity in the end. This morning, you are going to present yourself before the Lord and say, Father, here am I. I want to give you myself afresh. I want to give you myself afresh over and over again. You know yourself better. You know what, is, what it is with you. What it is in your relationship with God. You know how it is with you. You may be a minister. You may be in the pew. You may be in the pulpit. You may be a clergy. You may be a laity. It does not matter. Jesus can be missing. And one will still be assuming that Jesus is still there. I want you to begin to talk to the Lord and say, Father, reposition me in my Christian life. In my relationship, open your mouth and begin to pray now. Talk to the Lord now. Talk to the Lord now. We've not just come to the program in order to attend to these other areas. The spiritual element, the spiritual aspect must be attended to. Tell the Lord, Father, reposition me in this program. Let my Christian life have a shift. Have a shift. Let it have a shift. Let there be a repositioning, a realignment 
realignment to where I should be. Take me to the place, the position, the status, where I should be. Where I should be. Talk to the Lord now. Talk to him. Talk to him. We have just a short time for this session. Tell the Lord, my Christian life must be attended to whatsoever that may have gone wrong in any area, in any aspect of my spirituality. Oh Lord, reposition me, revive me, realign me, reform me, restore me, revive me. Let there be spiritual rejuvenation, restoration, renewal, reinvigoration. Let there be transformation in my Christian life. Let my relationship with you be renewed. Father, we thank you for this program. Thank you because you are set to do a new thing. You said, behold, I will do a new thing. Now it shall spring forth. Can you not know it? I'll make a way in the wilderness and rivers in the desert. Make a way. Make a way in the wilderness. The wilderness of our Christian life. Rivers in the desert. Taking away every dryness. Spiritual dryness. Drowsiness. Dryness. Spiritual emptiness. Let the Lord send down revival again. Renewal again. Restoration again. Let new things begin to happen in our Christian life. Let there be an emergence of better version of our spirituality as we engage with the law in this program. Let there be an emergence of a better version of our spirituality. Lord, we give you praise because you are at work you have decided to walk. You have set, organized the program for your purpose. And one of the intent is for you to walk in our Christian life and bring us back to you and bring us to where we should be. Take us back to where we, we should be. Take me back, Lord, to the place where I started. Break the chains and let me go free. I just can't stay away any longer. Take me back, Lord, to Calvary. Take me back, Lord. If you know he's singing passionately, prayerfully, it's a prayer. You need to return to where you should be in the matter of relationship with God. Sorry for the interruption. All those who park their cars in the car park should please step out to go and repark. All those who park their cars in the car park should please step out to go and repark. Take me back, Lord, to the place where I started. Brace the chains and let me go free. Sing with me if you know it. Read me into the lyrics. Read me into the lyrics and maximize the meaning. Super I said, take me back, Lord. Make sure you understand what you are singing. Oh, yes. Break the chains and let me go free. And let me go free. Pelosomina tena high. Oh yes, take me back, Lord. Suka. I remember the first time I talked with the Lord and I fell on my knees in the night. This of this, oh yes, has taken the cross from my side. Understand what you are singing. What is your relationship like? What is your spiritual temperature? Your temperature may be high in other areas.
But how is your spiritual temperature? What is it like? You must not remain in your spiritual dantrodoness. Spiritual dantrodoness. You must break out to Calvary. Oh, take me back, Lord. Sing it prayerfully. Sing it prayerfully. Oh, yes. Break the chains. And let me go free. Let me go free. Are you sure? Do you understand what you are singing? Oh, yeah. Suka. Many Israelites left Egypt, but many died in the wilderness. Many left Egypt, but many died in the wilderness. There are many of our watchmen youth who left Egypt. They are sinful life. But right now, they have died in the wilderness of this world. Told Jacob, go back to better the place where you first met me, that place of encounter. You need to return to that place, the place of consecration, where the fire was constantly burning on the altar. I want to ask, is there still fire on the altar? Watchman, young adult, it is time to go back to better. Go back to the point where you started. Go back to better. You can talk to the Lord if you understand. I am the God of better. Where thou anointest the pillar, and where thou vowest a vow unto me, now arise. Get thee from this land and return unto the land of thy kindred. Many have left the land of their kindred. Can you talk to God? Can you talk to God? Fair, tell it, Father, reposition me. Reposition me. Reposition me. Reposition me. Take me back to better. Many young adults are not where they should be in their relationship with God. They have left where they should be. Some have died in the wilderness of this world. In search of fame, in search of their passion, in search of fulfillment, in search of earthly and transient things, they have lost it all. They have been displaced. They have been displaced, disconcerted, disseminated. Tell the law and say, Father, take me back to Calvary. Don't miss this experience. Don't miss this experience. Pray that prayer with every piety, with every solemnness, with every soberness. Pray the Lord, take me back to where I should be. I want to be up and running. I want to be up and running. Bring me out from that pit. Many have gone into a lot of things in search due to the quest. The quest. The quest for materialism. The quest. The quest for all the things of this world. They've gone into sundry carnality. Spirituality has been sacrificed on the altar of carnality. Spirituality sacrificed on the altar of carnality. On the altar of materialism. On the altar of worldliness. Are you praying? Pray this morning. Pray this morning and say, Father, my Christian life must experience a shift. Paradigm shift. Paradigm shift. My relationship with you must experience a paradigm shift. I cannot remain the same. I must not remain the same. I must be repositioned. All the things of this world, passions of this world, motions of sin, all the worldliness, worldly standards that have been imbibed and adopted, Lord, derob me of it. Take me back to Calvary. Take me back to Calvary. Take me back to where I started. Take me back. To Calvary, I want to be on my feet again and never to be re entangled. Do we talk about relationships? Many young adults have gotten it wrong, terribly wrong. Because of relationship, 
worldly relationship, the perception, the ideology, the mindset is averse to the standards of the word of God, standards of the scriptures. Tell the Lord, reformat me, reformat my mindset, reformat my heart, that I may conform to the standard, to the provisions, to what it should be, to the standard, to the specification of the scripture. Reformat me, reconfigure me, reinvigorate me, revive me, restore me, restore me. Touch me once again. Thank you, blessed Father. Thank you, blessed Father. We give you glory because a generational shift is about to happen. A generational shift. Not just a lopsided one. Not just a one-sided one. But it's going to be all-encompassing. Thank you, blessed Father. We give you praise because you are here. Thank you because you are here to do a new thing. You are here to cause transformation, reformation in all areas, diverse and sundry, transformation and reformation in the life of every participant. These are the future generations, the posterity of the church. There is need for all around prosperity, including spiritual prosperity of our posterity. Lord, we pray that in this program, upon this mountain, you will make a feast of fat things. In the name of Jesus. You will make a feast of fat things. Fat things containing all manner of things. Revival, spiritual revival. Revival of dreams and visions. Lord, reformatting of the mindset. Lord, transformation of all kind. Lord, reformation of all kind. Translocation from where they have been to where they should be. Let your power, glory, presence, and grace, and anointing take and overriding influence over every other influence. We saturate this vicinity with the blood of Jesus. With the blood of Jesus. Take over every instrument, every speaker, every panelist, every keynote speaker, every person, every instrument, the choristers, and everyone that you are going to use. Let every session be a blast in the name of Jesus. Use every session to achieve your purpose. That at the end of the day, eyes will be opened. Scales will fall off from the eyes of the people. Restoration and revival will take place. Repositioning will happen. Generational shift will happen. In the name of Jesus. I say celebrate Jesus. Hallelujah. You are Rafa and Omega. We worship you, our Lord. You are worthy to be praised. You are Rafa, you are. You are Alpha and Omega. Oh yes, we worship you, our Lord. You are worthy to be praised. We give you all. We give. glory we worship you our Lord you are worthy to be praised I have made you too small in my eyes oh Lord forgive me and I have believed in a lie that you were unable to help me. But 
not now, oh Lord. I see my wrong. Hear my cry and show yourself strong. And in my heart and with my soul, oh Lord, be my lifter. Oh yeah. Magnified, oh Lord, you are highly exalted, and there is nothing you can do, oh Lord, my eyes. Magnify, oh Lord, be magnified, oh Lua, and I told you, oh Lua, oh Lua, worship the Lord this afternoon. He did great things yesterday. Worship him, worship him. Aribiti Arabata. Oh, hey, let's all be you. Aribiti Arabata. Aribiti Arabata. Hey, let's all you. Ibarra Jesus Ibarra oh Ibarra oh Papa Ibarra oh Ibarra Ibarra Jesus oh Ibarra oh Ibarra oh Papa oh Moju Ibarra You're faithful in the day, you are faithful in the night. Who is that? All to thee, oh Lord, oh great God, you are faithful in the day. Oh, you are faithful all the time. Who is that unto thee? Oh, Lord. Begin to worship the name of the Lord now. He's faithful to be praised. Extol his name on high. Lift up your voice and give him the praise that is due to him. Worship him in the beauty of his holiness. Worship him in the beauty of his holiness. God is great and greatly to be praised in the city of our God, in the mountain of his holiness. Beautiful for situation, the joy of the whole earth. Kaya mako sotori mahaya, shala mako peteli maha, reso pataya magaya. Worship him, worship him, worship him, worship him, worship him. He deserves your praise. He deserves your worship. He deserves your praise. He deserves your worship. Give him the praise that is due to him. He is the Almighty. He is the beginning and the end. The ancient of days. The ancient of days. He's going forth. It's from everlasting. And known unto him are the works of his heart. 
the one that calleth for the waters of the sea and pour them upon the surface of the earth. He's the owner of the cattle upon a thousand hills. The whole earth is like a drop of a cup. Worship the name of the Lord. Worship the name of the Lord. Worship the name of the Lord. He's faithful. He's mighty. He's gracious. He's glorious. He's wonderful. He's excellent in walking. Excellent in walking. Excellent in walking. He does excellent things. Give him all the praise. Lift his name on high. For the great things he did yesterday, worship him because that is a new wave of change. That is a new shift. Multi-dimensional shift. Multifarious shift. Paradigm shift. That is what is going on. Appreciate him. For the watchman church. Appreciate him. For the man of God, the Jesus. Appreciate him for our diocesan pastor who has been a pillar of support to the young ones. Father, we exalt your name. We give you all the praise and all the thanksgiving and all the honor for all that you have done, for all that you are doing, and for all that you will do. Glory be to your name. Glory be to your name. Glory be to your name. I'm living for Jesus in this old world below. I'm happy each moment as on my way I go. No matter what comment he sold in my hand. Safely leading to glory land. Oh, yes. If you know it, sing it passionately. Passionately, prayerfully. Meaningfully. Sing it from the sincerity of your heart. Not just on the lips, but from the heart. From the heart, not from the lips. Take me is a song of consecration, commitment. The young adults of the watchman cannot afford to go through life in isolation. Oh yes, I'm living for Jesus. Oh yes, each day and each hour. If you know he sing it well, it's a prayer. Prayer of commitment. Prayer of consecration. Prayer of dedication. Prayer of alignment and realignment to divinity. Master, I pray in thy service each passing day. I said, just take me and use me. Dear Master, I pray in thy service each passing day. Oh Lord, you know my strength is in this morning. Lest thou should lead I'm prone to sleep and fall Oh yes, guide and direct Oh evil, make me stand Make me as clay in the pool Oh Lord, mold me Sing it passionately Prayerfully you are talking to the Lord in that song. When you are making up your mind to yield yourself to him, to yield yourself to him in totality, the totality of your being. Make me a clay in the power of son. Oh, Lord, mold me, Jehovah. Make me now as you have me be. Oh, yeah. Take me now 
I'm ready. I'm available. Are you available? Are you ready? Are you available? Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Through this pilgrim land, make me as clear. Paul the apostle, while writing on that inspiration, he said, be, be, I beseech you, brethren, to present your bodies a living sacrifice, holy and acceptable unto God, which is your reasonable service. It's a moment of consecration for the young adults. There are many young people in the secular and even in the Christian circles wallowing in godlessness, in carnality, in lack, having a need for God. It's time to submit yourself to God. It is dangerous to acquire all the acquisitions outside of God. It is risky, disastrous, and it can be calamitous if one acquires all the skills and all the education and all the talent and all the wealth and all the business without God in isolation of divinity. Wanted to talk to God and say, Father, this afternoon, I am coming to you afresh. I am rededicating my life to you. I am yielding my members, yielding myself to you. I am giving all of myself to you. God wants all of yourself. The totality of your being. He wants the totality of your being to be yielded to him. To be yielded to him. To be given to him. No other thing should share the place of God in your heart. Come to the Lord now and tell him that you are yielding yourself. He should take over you. Strengthen you where you are weak. Strengthen you where you are weak. Strengthen you where you are weak. Remove the things that should be removed. Plant the things that should be planted. Can you talk to him? Talk to him. Talk to him. How is the fire on your altar? How is the fire on your altar? Are you acquiring all the skills, all the knowledge, and all the personal development without a spiritual standing, spiritual footing? Tell the Lord, I am here. Touch me again. Reposition me. Realign me. Restore me to where I should be. I yield myself, my heart, my life, and everything to you. I give myself to you, the totality of my being. Without reservation, consecration is all about yielding the totality of your being to God without reservation. Without reservation. It's time to burn all the bridges. All the bridges connecting you to carnality. All the bridges connecting you to worldliness. All the bridges connecting you to spiritism. All the bridges connecting you to godlessness. Burn them. And get connected back to your maker. You cannot go too far in life without God. In isolation of God. Talk to him, talk to him, talk to him. It's a moment of going back to the cross. Going back to Calvary. Going back to Calvary. Going back for fresh experience. Fresh experience. What is the state of your Christian life? Are you even born again? Can you check if you are? Are you sanctified? Are you filled with the Holy Ghost? How far can you go without the Holy Ghost? In a dilapidated, dilapidated, deplorable generation. How far can you go without the Holy Ghost? Are you born again in the first place? Don't assume, check and pray. Don't assume, wait, check and pray, check and pray. Check and pray.
pray and get connected back to your creator. After all the hustles and buzzles and activities are over, there is a beautiful life beyond here. How is your life prepared for that life? How is your life prepared for that life? Are you connected, still connected to God? Are you still deep-rooted? Except you abide in me, you cannot bear fruits. You cannot bear fruits. How connected are you still to Christ? Deeply connected? Rootly connected? Or partially connected? Or you have been totally disconnected? Check yourself and pray. Check yourself and pray. The Lord is ready to bring you back to where you should be. Thank you, Father, for the work you're doing. Glory be to your name. In the name of Jesus Christ, Almighty God, Almighty God, Almighty God, my generation shall praise your name. My generation shall praise your name. Oh yes, my generation is a resolution. Resolution. Sing it from your heart. I mean it from your heart. Generation shall praise your name. The people, the generation that left the land of Egypt to the promised land, many of them perished, died in Kadesh Barnea. Kadesh Barnea the land, the valley, the, the spot that swallowed the giants. They could not get to the promised land. Only Joshua and Caleb. A generation was used to set up the watchman. It is your, our generation that will sustain it. We are the posterity. We are the posterity. Can we resolve that the watchman we not die. That this our generation, we serve God. It will not be like the people of Israel when they left the land of Egypt and then many perished in the wilderness and at the spot in Kadesh Barnea and only Joshua and Caleb was the generation left. Begin to talk to God now and tell the Lord, this my generation will serve God. This my generation will serve God. This my generation will retain the watchman. We sustain the fire. We take up the pattern. We will not fall. We will not fail. We will not falter. Can somebody talk to God? If you are making that resolution with me, my generation will serve God. My generation will serve God. We will not derail. We will not remove the ancient landmark which our fathers have set. The ancient landmark, the standards, the specifications which our fathers have set. We will not remove it. We will serve God. Our generation will serve God. Our generation will carry the fire and run with the fire. Our generation will take up the battle. The watchman will not die. The watchman will not die. Our posterity must progress the watchman. Must advance the watchman. Talk to the Lord. Resolve in your heart. And then tell it to the Lord. And his grace will carry you through the journey in the wilderness of this world. His grace will carry you. Will help you navigate. My generation will not fail God. My generation will not fail God. We will not remove the ancient landmark. We will go in the way of the Lord. 
a songwriter said, I choose to go the way of the Lord. I choose to go the way of the Lord. Choose. Make that resolution, that decision. And let it be your disposition from now. In Jesus' name, we pray. Tell the Lord you are here again today. Tell him to bless you with knowledge, with insight, with inspiration. With understanding. Tell him to send him to you. That which will move you to the next level. Can we begin to pray? Shall we begin to pray? Let him give you that which will take you to the next level. The tool, the resources, the information, the knowledge. Let him release unto you. The knowledge, the resources, the tool, the tool for every next level, there is an information needed to catapult you, to translocate you to the next level. That's an information. That is a medium. That's a platform. That is a platform. That's a medium. That's an information that you need to get to your next level. Tell the Lord today, give me that which may take me to my next level in every area. Release unto me that which will take me to the next level. Pray. Thank you, Father. Because we know that you have a good thought towards us. The thought of peace and not of evil to give us an expected end. Therefore, today, we ask that you progress in your work. You started yesterday, and you are a progressive worker. And your word says, when you begin, you will make an end. Father, today we pray that you have your way in the name of Jesus Christ. Use every instrument to position your people and move us to the next level. Thank you for answering the prayers. In Jesus' name we pray.